once you understand how to create this simple middleware inside your application let me show you how to make api call using this middleware as you know when you call an api you need to make sure your application is asynchronous otherwise you will get an error messages because api call will take some time to return the response from the server so to call the api in this javascript project i'm going to just call here a library called axios so let me first install that library inside this project so i'm going to open my terminal stop the development server and here i'm going to say npm i for install and i'm going to install axios library axios is a library that helps us to make http requests to the external resources in our react application we often need to retrieve data from the external apis so it can be displayed in our web pages so we're going to use this library to call the apis from the external resources and now inside this middleware i'm going to create my api call so just out of this and to do started just down here i'm going to call axios library now to call this library you need to first import that at the top so here i'm going to say import axios from axios library so just down here i'm going to call the axios library and with this library you will get different http request so i'm going to first call here post method axios dot post so this method is going to make post request to the api inside this parenthesis you need to first specify the url then specify the data and that will return the response as a promise so as a first argument here in this single quote i'm going to pass the api url so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my browser and here i'm going to open a new tab and search for json placeholder and from this json placeholder fake api testing tool i'm going to call the api inside my project to know more about this api just head on to json placeholder dot typecode.com so i'm going to just click on the guide and import this api inside my project as you can notice here to use this api you can use the fetch function as well if you want you can use the fetch function to fetch the data from this api that's upon you i'm using the axios library here so just down here you can notice here we have the create a resource section inside this section we have here the api to make a post request let me use this api so let me copy this url and i'm going to back to my project and inside this single quote here i'm going to paste that url the post request url i'm going to pass here comma and pass the second parameter and as a second parameter right here we need to pass the data with this post request to post some data inside this api so here i'm going to pass an object and inside this object i'm going to specify first title foo then i'm going to specify here body which is bar this is just a value so you can specify any value here and then specify here user id is going to be 1 now once i have my post values here just out of that just out of this second parameter right here after this parenthesis just down here i'm going to pass here dot and call then method i hope you know when working with promises to get the values from the api or you can say to get the values from the promise you need to call then method so inside this then method i'm going to pass a callback function so i'm going to say here response and call a callback function here inside this parenthesis i'm going to have the response of this post request so just on here i'm going to say console.log and i'm going to print here response dot data so using data parameter i can access the response data of this action just out of that just out of this then down here i can call the catch i can call the catch here catch method and pass the error so if there is any problem inside this request i'm going to call this catch method and inside it i'm going to say console.log and print the error message like this let me save this file and just out of that when i click on this change action you can notice this will return the posted data in the console you can notice here let me reload the browser and show you the result again when i click on this change action after a few seconds api will return the output and i'm going to have that output inside my console when i click on the change action you can notice after a few seconds api is going to return the response to our application and i'm going to have here the output value now if you want you can pass this value to your action creator and store this value inside your state so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just back to the index.js right here inside this action and here instead of this console messages i'm going to get rid of this console messages and here i'm going to call a dispatch method as you know we are in this 
middleware function. So I can access this dispatch method inside this promises as well. So here I'm going to say dispatch and as a parameter, I'm going to pass here add to do success, the action. And as you know, to this add to do success, we have a parameter called to do. I'm going to pass this response.data to this parameter like this. So this will just store this data in the store. Just for that, instead of this console.log, here I'm going to call dispatch method with the action add to do failure like this. And in the parenthesis, as you know, I have here error parameter with the payload. So I'm going to pass here error message. Let me save this file back to my component first and let me print my current state here. So at the top, I'm going to say here import. In the curly process, I'm going to call you selector from React Redux. From this library, I'm going to call here use selector function. So this function is going to get the current state of the store. So instead of these properties, I'm going to say here constant to do's is equal to use selector. And this is going to return a parameter called state. And I'm going to return that parameter like this to this to do's. And just on here, I'm going to just print console.log to this. Save this file. Now, this will just first print the initial state of the store. When I click on the change action, you can notice I'm going to have here a value inside my to do's. You can notice here inside my to do's, I'm going to have my API call value. So I'm going to just make the post request to the API and get the output from that API. And I'm going to just store that value in the store keep in mind inside this inside this middleware this api call is not actually going to store all these values inside this api this is just a fake api so it will not actually going to store all these values inside this api instead it will just make the mimic of it and now once you have your values inside your store you can print all these values inside your redux application so next we'll see how to do that